Russia, 17 years old. I got pregnant at 15. So I lived in the house from one. So I was in the family, I was in the house, and I was in the house. In the society, I was in the house, and I was in the house. So when I was in the house, I was in the clinic. So I was in the house, and I was in the house, and I was in the house. I was in the house, and I said, it's not the end of life, Ivo. Because I was in the house, and I was in the house. The Challenge Initiative, also known as TCI, in partnership with the county government of Nairobi and the private sector like Shining Hope for Communities, Shofko, joined forces to help adolescents like Celine in Kenya. TCI offers a bold approach for rapidly scaling up high-impact, best-practice family planning solutions for women and girls living in poor urban areas. In East Africa, TCI is implemented locally as Tupange Pamoja. In Nairobi County, Kenya, TCI is being implemented in 80 health facilities, with 27 of them being from the private sector, like Shofko. TCI was one way of how to be close to the government. And if there's anybody or anyone who really needs healthcare, is the people living in the slums. While also living in Kibera, there's a woman who died, taken to the hospital. And uh, you ask yourself why. So I had a dream that one day I want to start a community health clinics owned by the community. They feel comfortable about it. So my dream was not that. So when I was able to start Shofko, which started as a grassroots soccer club. So I, I'm a strong believer of uh, what I call um, community-based solutions. Shofko is a Kenya-based network of private facilities operating in Nairobi's slum areas. One of the facilities, the Shofko Health Center located in the Madare slums, works with the community, including women and girls, seeking access to family planning services and other primary health care services. The county Ministry of Health team selected Shovko to participate in the TCI program as one of the high-volume sites attending to adolescents and youth for other services serving a large population of the Madari slums. We were able to get uh, a lot of activities going on in Shovko and they also have a very keen interest on the young people. So we felt that um, having them come in as part of the facilities that are supported by the Challenge Initiative would allow us to be able to provide quality family planning services, give us opportunities also to support them, and also um, capacity build the staff on family planning. Privately run facilities often face gaps in skills, commodities, medical equipment, and other standards. The Challenge Initiative East Africa Hub is working with the private sector to address quality gaps and provide better and more reliable services for the community. TCI came with numerous resources, but mostly it built our capacity. We were able to get a platform of the TCI University. Through this platform, our over 67 staff, including from the gate, who are our gate men, to our technical staff, were able to access trainings the best practices and influence how well we can be able to tap into areas that have not been able to practice family planning. We have been able to benefit from registers, which are very crucial data tools. With the support from TCI, we are able to do the outreaches, we are, by, we are able to go to the community and reach to the people right in the community with the family planning messages and family planning services without forgetting the community health volunteers who we are using as distributors and at the same time to create demand for the family planning services. Uku kwetu madhare unasida ya teenagers pregnancy ndiyo mana tuliamua sisi kama health volunteers tutoke inje tuende tu fundishe youths, adolescents, who mambo na family planning. Partnerships between the private and public sectors are making positive marks in the communities. Women, men, young girls and boys are now more than ever 
accessing quality family planning services. So for sure this project has been beneficial. We are not only giving them services in the facilities, but now through support from this project, we are able to go down even to the villages and to the homes and the communities where the women are. And because of this, then they are getting access. If well applied, family planning could be used as a tool to change lives. Challenge Initiative will continue to work with valuable private sector partners like Shofco as it continues to scale its high impact interventions in family planning and adolescent and youth sexual and reproductive health programming.